Okay, hello, this is Dr. Janes, and today we're going to talk about changing our headlamps. So this is a Honda Insight, and um, one of our headlamps is burned out. So, we got ourselves a brand new headlamp here. Here we go. And we'll see if we can uh, replace this guy. And uh, hopefully it's not too hard. Let's take a look inside. Okay, so let's take a look. We got our uh, Honda Insight here. And uh, the hood release is actually down here. Right here. Right next to the door. Right there. And we can pull that guy out. And uh, go release the hood, hopefully. the front and there's a little release down here and we'll prop up the hood there we go okay let's take a look inside of here and see what's going on what a marvelous machine huh Okay, so this is the headlamp that's out, and it doesn't look like they make it very easy to get in there. Let's take a look over here. Oh my dad had a Prius, and they charged him $700 to change it. They had to take the front bumper off or something ridiculous. These car places think that they can just uh, kind of shaft you on everything, and make you have to bring it in and pay them thousands of dollars to fix things that you should, really should be able to fix yourself. Well, let's take a look down here. Okay. Well, it looks like we got a bunch of junk on the way here. Some kind of fluid thing and uh, some fuses maybe. Here's the headlamp right there. and We gotta get down behind it, I think. And uh, let me take a look at this for a little bit first and see if we can figure out how to get in there. Okay, so looks like this is a radiator uh, where the radiator fluid goes in and it's got some kind of plastic thing that slides into this metal slot down here and I think if we wiggle it we can get this thing out of the way and that might be helpful. So if I kind of wiggle this back, oh look, it slides right out. Here we go. And so, let's take a look in there. Okay, so we've taken that guy out. And it looks like we might have access to the back of the light now. Okay. Let's see, can we take this stuff off? Looks like there's some kind of tab. We can pull on that. Oh, yeah. It's a rubber thing that comes out. Okay. Oh wait, there's a plug down here, look at this. Is there? Yeah, there's a plug back here. Uh, you can... Oh God, there's like a little tab in the middle of this rubber thing. This little plug thing that you can pull out, it looks like. I get my fingers on that, see that? Okay, there we go. We take that off. Then we'll pull this, get this out of the way. Okay, it's right down there underneath the headlamp. We've got this rubber thing here. Pull that out. If we can. Oh man. It's getting caught on something. I think there's our headlamp right down there. Okay. Never thought working on cars could be so much fun. Okay, let me see if I can grab onto that thing. Okay, let's take a look down there. Uh, so it looks like these, uh, this light here has one of my favorite little clippy things that you gotta undo. 
see if we can get in there and undo that clippy thing. It's got some kind of release thing down here. A little wire thing that you gotta move to the side and pop out of place, looks like. And oh. let's see if we can get in there and undo that. Okay. What I had to do. Oh my God. The little little wire thing over on this side. I just had to push it in and pull it up. And it looks like it's been released now. It springs out of place. And now the light is free to be pulled out of its socket. Okay. There we go. It's coming right out. Look at that. Okay. And so, there is our light bulb, and uh, let's try to uh, put a new light bulb in its place. So it was kind of oriented like that, with the center tab at the top. Let's get our new light bulb and stick it in there and see if we can fix this thing. Okay, so here's our new light bulb. and. Package. It's a 9003, I guess. 9003 basic light bulb by Sylvania. Let's get this out of here. You probably want to be careful not to touch the glass globe with your fingers because it gets very hot and that might cause the light bulb to crack or something. You don't want to get grease on the light bulb. Okay. So let's take a look down here and see if we can plug this thing in. Okay, so there's our light socket, and here's our light bulb. And so we'll stick it down there. We have the center tab oriented upward. Let's see if we can get it in the hole. Yeah, get it in that hole. Yeah, come on. Uh, what I mean. Okay, I may need the. Okay, there we go. We got it in there. Got it in all the way. Get it oriented. Okay. Let me see if I can get it oriented right. Okay, so I had to get it kind of twisted into place in there. Now I think it's seated properly, and then we can take this little spring thing and clip it back on to lock that thing back into place. Come on. Okay, I may need two hands for this. Okay, one thing to be careful about, one thing I didn't notice, that there's like a little springy thing on the bottom and that was getting caught under the light, so you want to make sure that this thing is out all the way before you stick that light bulb in there so that both of these spring things can come down over top of it. See like that? You see that? How both of them come down? There's two of them there. And they both come down over top of it to hold it into place. All right. Okay. Okay, so. Once you got both of those over the top, I just fastened it, but see, there's that little clippy thing. In order, I undo it, I'm undoing it for a second to show you, see, it's undone. You push it in and down like that, and then it clips in there. And now the light bulb is fastened in the place. Okay, so we should be able to take our, our rubber thing and stick that back over the light bulb that down there. It's getting hard to see. We've got our rubber thing on there. Because you want your light bulb to be protected, right? So this goes over. There's a light bulb in there. Light bulb. We'll put the rubber thing over top of it. And get it over the plug. Let me get that in the 
place. Okay, we'll push that on. Okay, so we got that rubber thing in the place. I just kind of you want to make sure you get the contact to the center here so you can plug your plug in. See, so contacts to the center, and this thing kind of fits around the outside. And there is some kind of drainage ports that go toward the bottom, so you want to make sure you get it right side up. And, okay. And here is our plug. Alright, there's our plug. And we can now plug this in to the center of that rubber thing. See the pins are on top like that. The center pins on top. Just plug that in. Okay. To the back of that. Make sure it's good and tight. Make sure it's seated okay. And then we will test it out. Okay, so let's give her a test. We're going to turn the lights on. Okay, so it looks like our light bulb is now working again. And uh, looks like everything's all fixed. So this is uh, Dr. Jane's, and uh, thanks for watching. Oh, hey, and uh, one last thing. Don't forget to put your uh, radiator fluid back into its holder to here. All right, you don't want to forget to reassemble your car. Okay, so we should be all set now. Anyway, this is Dr. Janes, and thanks for watching.